Hi guys, what's up? Thank you so much for watching Mostly. Sorry. <laughs> Hi guys, what's up? Thank you so much for watching Mostly Say It. I am Pradipta. Welcome back to another Real Talk Tuesday video. Um, I would announce um, whom we're doing this video with very regularly, but the number of times I've watched his videos on the internet that, and I was lucky enough to actually attend were my first ever. Yes, I oh, was. This one? Yes, I was. So I want to say first Russell. Wait, first night or second night? Second night. Oh, that's the good night. It's the second night, yeah. That's yeah, the better yeah. night. So I want to say Russell Peters, but I'm so used to listening to your name as Russell oh. Peters. Oh, that's my brother doing that, funny enough. Ooh. So hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? It's so nice to meet you. I am a huge fan. So we didn't meet then? No, we didn't. Oh. Like I really wanted to meet you, but you were busy, so that's fine. I mean, we did a meet and greet. I don't know how you flopped on that. <laughs> Nobody told me about <laughs> that one. Uncomfortable okay. in the room. <laughs> But I get to meet you now. Also, um, I had my cards prepared uh, and then I left them on my flight. So all I have right now is this. It's like a card, but one. Yeah, it's singular. <laughs> also very, very thin. But we're going to go with it. Go for it. Um, first of all, I've said this like, I, I'm, I'll probably say it like a zillion more times. That's fine. That I'm a fan. I'm, I'm, I want to hear it as yeah. much as possible. <laughs> and I want to keep you as a fan. Perfect. Yes. Um, also, given the fact that I'm a YouTube content creator who makes comedy videos, okay. like I have seen your content so many times. I have, I, I, I don't want to say study, but I've like binge watched the same shows over that's, and over uh, and over. That's, a, that's all good with me too. Yes, trying to understand that and now getting to speak to you in person is just like... It's a, ready, you're ready, you're ready to be disappointed. No, <laughs> I don't <laughs> think so. But hey, I have a few questions like okay. from a creator to creator. Let's do it. You do comedy, which like, so the brand of comedy that I do, which I, I've always said this, like I'm not someone uh, who'll sit down and write jokes, like, like nobody will look at my content and be like, ha, that's a funny line. It's usually like, oh my God, that's so funny. That happens to me too. Okay. You know, so I like to call it more observational humor. But you do sketches. I do stand up. It's a very different. Yeah. So um, where does your, where does that, where does the journey of that one thought for a joke start from for you? Um, it depends. It all, it comes in different forms. So. Sometimes it may some, be something that happens, and I'm like, ooh, okay, I like that. I, I, I'm actually going to get back to my old way of doing it, where I would think of something like, okay, this is funny, now how would I end up here? And then funny I would, as in like a real life like, instance no, whatever, funny? Yeah, whatever it would be. I'd be like, okay, this is, a funny, this is a funny premise right here. This is the funny part. How can I get there? And I would write it backwards. Oh. So I would go, here. So you would rig the storyline a little yeah, bit? Yeah, so I would be like, Okay, here's where I want to end up. What would have happened that's funny there? And then you want to make it funny the whole way through. So it's not just bam, bam. Yeah. It's like pop, 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 the whole way through. But I would write it backwards. So I'm like, okay, here's what I think is funny. Like, say, like you wanted to write a joke about, or write a skit about, I don't know, losing your cards on the plane. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now the funny part would be somebody else finding them and then creating a YouTube channel and doing the same questions you were going to do. I'm really but hoping nobody right, does now that. Right, now then you write it backwards. Like, now what would, what would be the reason why I lost it? Like, I had them, I was about to put them in my bag, then the flight attendant came and said, seatbelt, oh, I'm sorry, I go to put my seatbelt, and then you put the cards, and like just, and you keep, you can yeah. embellish the story backwards. Oh, okay. That's, That's one I'm, of the ways that, I would yeah. write. Ooh. But I don't sit down and physically write. I think it out my okay. whole, in my head. It's never written down. Also, a lot of your comedy is very um, culture specific. Not anymore. You were at this show. I know, but like I was hoping for it a little bit. I was like, you know what? Fun fact. I, I don't know if it's a fun. It's a fact. Um, it's a fact. It's a fact. <laughs> I was sitting in like the first two, three rows because I was like, how do you go to a Russell Peters show and not get picked on, right? Did you not get picked on? No. Like it's you funny, picked you know, on the guy. But honestly, and I'm not making this up. When I saw you, I go, she looks familiar. And it must be because I saw you in the front row. Really? Were you by yourself? I was with him. And he's very difficult That's, not he to He looked spot. familiar too when he walked. When you both walked in, I go, both familiar looking. So I did see like you. Like I was almost and I like. And I might have thought he was your dad. No. <laughs> kind of. That's right. <laughs> and also you picked on the guy who was sitting right in front of me, the sperm guy. Oh, yeah. You were over there. Oh, oh yeah. I was right there. And I definitely, he was sitting on the aisle, this yeah, guy. Okay, I, I remember. Because you're I, in the special, by the way. Yeah. Oh, I am? Yeah, you're in the special because the sperm guy's in there. So if I get to be behind sperm guy? Yeah. That's better than so sperm guy being behind you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, for that, a lot of your content before has been very culture specific. Mm. And I see that it's, it's like everything, I don't know about other cultures, but everything also because you're 
Indian, a lot of things, a lot of references that you make are so bang on and so um, accurate. Also, very, um, you know, they're not, they're not massy. They're very sort of. Detailed. Yes. How do you do that? Because I always say detail separates good from great. Mm. Um, you know, and that's the way my brain works. So uh, somebody may look at this room, but I will see something detailed about this room that bothered me or stuck out. You know what I mean? And I don't know what it would be right now. Like that guy's hat that says, I like black. It doesn't say what, though. <laughs> I don't know what he likes black, but... <laughs> he doesn't like us is what he doesn't like right now. Also, when it comes to jokes, also when it comes to, especially in a country like India, I think one of the things that we are battling with right now with content on the internet is just everybody getting offended. Yeah, don't worry about that. Yeah? People that are going to get offended want to get offended. They just Have waiting. you ever been that offended that you need to say something to somebody? No. No, you're not. You can be, okay, you can be, that wasn't for me. Yeah. And then you keep it moving. Yeah. People, think about it. Have you ever met an outraged person or these people on the internet that are upset? No, you just use a name. You've, never, you've yeah. never met them because they don't exist. The Russians. <laughs> oh, no. They've created these bots to try and disrupt the world. So that's, that's never a thought that crosses your mind. I don't, I don't think that they're real. I don't think they're real people. But even outside of the internet, when you do shows... Have you met them? I've never have met you them met them? No, you meet people go, hey, I don't like that joke. I'm like, oh, that's your problem. Like, have you ever been like sort of ambushed by someone who's just like, how dare you crack this that, joke that on my head? That would be really head? bad for them. Uh, that, would prob that could end badly for them, is oh. what I'm saying. I could um, easily put them to sleep if I need to. <laughs> sleep. Just sleep. <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> and sleep. <laughs> Good night, sleep. <laughs> but tell me something. Um, when, um, like for example, and this just comes from a complete creator perspective, is that when I write my content, there's always a few things that I know I'm never going to touch upon. Okay. Like there's always territories that I know I don't want to go to and I'm going to stay away from that. Because well, your goal is probably very similar to mine. You just want to make people laugh. Yeah. Yeah, that's the same goal. So but then when you're writing your content, does that ever cross your mind that, oh, okay, this is a territory I'm never... Are there rules? Are there boundaries? No, I don't... Again, I don't physically write things down. I, I'll sometimes say on stage... I, I'll, I'll say some stuff that I wouldn't normally say on stage mm. sometimes, but it won't end up in my act. Ah. Uh. Do you know what I mean? It'll be something I may have said in the moment I felt like it was necessary to say. Okay. Um, and then sometimes I'll get off stage and my brother will be like, what the hell was that? What, <laughs> say that for it wasn't even good or funny I'm like I just need to say it I need to get it out of my system yeah it's like a sneeze you get rid of it you know I mean? <laughs> hang on to a sneeze you let it out it goes away also how do you know like um, what what happens with me a lot of times is I write something that I think is hilarious right. and then it doesn't work nobody likes it nobody it laughs work, because you can't hear the laughter yeah like if, if it goes up on my channel like it doesn't oh, yeah, it yeah the yeah the video doesn't work or the idea doesn't work. I get a lot of comments saying, oh my God, this wasn't your best. Or, what, what are you thinking? It wasn't even funny. Yeah, but why do you pay attention to that? But don't you know too? In my head, it's too good. Oh, well. Like, that's the problem. Like, I, so many times I do that with him and I'm like, hey, hey, listen, I've got a funny line. And then I, I say it and he's like, and? And I'm like, that's it. He's like, no, it's not funny. Think of something uh, You know what? I had a joke like that years ago. <laughs> I feel so much better um, now. That I thought was hilarious. And I tried it, I must have tried it on stage maybe five times, and it never once even got a smirk. Okay. Um, I was driving to a gig, this is in Canada, like in the 90s, and it was a, there was this big open field, like a wide open field, and it had a giant sign in the middle of it saying, lots for sale. And I was like, lots of what? <laughs> See? It's still nothing. Still gets nothing. No, it's, it's funny. <laughs> but at the time when I was driving, oh my god, this is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is such a good joke. And every time I say it, it still gets nothing. I go, it's still funny to be in my head, but I know better than to say it on stage. Yeah, how do you know better? Is you just know I, because is that after like trial this and reaction error? alone mm. should let you know <laughs> this, this is not stage ready. This was literally for you to laugh on your own. So does that happen with a lot of your content or is it like a one-off <clears> thing where most times it's a hit, but sometimes it's a miss? Yeah, there's sometimes, you, you know, you're not going to hit everything all the time. But that's why comedy has to go like this. It's got to be a graph, you know what I mean? Yeah. You bring them up, you bring them down, bring them up, bring them down. You, you could try to keep them up here, but it's exhausting. It's always going to come down yeah. someday or the other. Yeah. What, what, what do you think of the um, sort of comedy that we have going on around, on the internet especially? I don't watch any of it, to be honest None with you. None of it? No. I, you know, when I'm on the internet, what I watch are like documentaries 
and astrophysics type, type stuff. Is that one Science. of those things where, you know, comedians <clears throat> don't watch a lot of comedy, so it doesn't yeah. affect their... It's not even that, it just not, it doesn't interest me. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, eh, I'll watch, uh, I watch a lot of documentaries and... If you look at my YouTube history, it's just like, um, it'll be Joe Rogan podcast stuff, um, astrophysics, and a lot of uh, space type stuff. Cosmos? Yep, cosmos, all that stuff. And uh, I look, I try to find the, uh, the most recent photographs being sh sent back to Earth from Cassini and, and, and the Mars rover and all this nerdy stuff. Wow. And documentaries on <clears throat> anything. So yeah, that's where my that's where I'm at with it. <laughs> okay. That's how you know I'm old. <laughs> okay. Um, or, you know, um, Pornhub, whatever. But okay. it's one or the other. That really, will be on your YouTube history. Whatever. Well, you can find it. Okay. <laughs> um, you have to accept the. the <laughs> you have to accept. <laughs> I agree. Okay. So when you first started doing comedy, mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure life is so much different than it is right now when now you're traveling so much and you're with us with you with your teams with a set um set of people that you hang out with all the time but before when you used to meet more people travel out more does that sort of like can you feel the difference when you're writing comedy if it comes a lot from observation was life different like was it different then different well, now no, you're a different person at that uh, then you know what i mean it was you st uh, you've never you never actually figure this game out hmm. that's it's funny for people who think they're going to figure it out. You can't actually figure this game out. That's the fun part about it. But the other part is you're hungrier then. You're more observant then. And you're younger, so everything is new to you then. Yeah. And now, you know, you're seeing things and you're like, eh, I've seen that before in another form. You know, and that's, that's the problem with getting older is that you become less impressed with things. Like, I feel like we're... How old are you? I'm 26. Right. But you look like you're 17, so you're oh, good. Oh, really? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, no, but because when I started making videos about four years ago, I used to take the train every day to, I used to work at a radio station, so I used to take a train every day to the radio station. And I feel like a lot of my the content... The train where everybody's hanging off of it? Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> you ever I, get stuck on the outside of it? No, that doesn't happen in the ladies' compartment. Oh, there's a ladies' compartment? Yeah, there is a ladies' compartment. That usually happens in the gen... So there's no gents' compartment, it's a general. So right. ladies can go there too, yeah, but, but it's mostly Yeah, that's not men. good for your ladies mm, in there, no. no. It becomes more genital than general. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I used to get a lot of my content there and I feel like after that stopped yeah. that is that is sort of like an area so that I'm never like going to be disconnected from yeah, society a, a little bit see no I I always go out into general population when I'm in places I go I go to a, I always find malls shopping malls are good places to go because that's where you get a cross-section of a lot of people mm. and I'll walk through a mall and you don't get mobbed eh, sometimes it's not that bad but really what are they trying to do they just want to take a picture or say something true. nice that's so true. there's nothing wrong with that that is so refreshing to listen to. Usually everyone's like, oh no, I don't like shopping at malls because there's too Man. many people. I, you know what I hate when people do that? Yeah. Because think about the flip side of that. Nobody wants your picture, nobody pays attention, nobody cares. That you know what so that means? True. You've done yeah. nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if somebody wants to come up and say something nice to you and take a you picture, yeah, of course. And, and you give them the time of day. Don't be a, don't be a jerk. And I like black. <laughs> <laughs> He's not with it. I know, that's why I like it so, so good. I'll tell you a fun incident then. I'll tell you something first of all, can I say something about this tattoo here? Yeah. This is a brilliant tattoo. Because if you go to a nightclub and they stamp your hand, <laughs> she can always get into nightclubs now. No, no, I was in already. <laughs> that's a first. I get that a lot for this. People say, was oh, this so your farm? For what your, is that? So, so it's, um, it's a glyph. It stands for balance and explore. But like a lot of people joke about, oh, so now the doctor will know where to put the... Needle? And that was something you See, one of those definitely jokes that was funny in you, my you, It was one of those things where you definitely just needed that on your arm for the rest of your life? Yeah. You put balance on your... And then wait till you get older and you lose your balance. It's going to be an yeah, amazing... I know, I know how the, to balance. The, the, the irony is going to kill you. <laughs> You're going to be like, oh, this is great. Look at this. I, rec I got a great tattoo for you. What? Uh, let me, this, you got room on this arm? Yes. Right there. I like black. That's amazing. <laughs> okay. I think. <laughs> so... Um, I was recently at a funeral. Okay. <laughs> it's a fun story. Sounds hilarious. <laughs> who died? Don't give me names, but like, no, who no, were no. they to you? Um, Friends? Grandfather. Friends' grandfather. Oh, yeah, yeah. It happens. Yeah. Um, Especially at around that age. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to keep forgetting what I'm saying. Go on, fun okay. story. Mm. So, um, uh, first of all, all fun stories start with, I was at a funeral. <laughs> Let's just call it a story. Okay. Okay. So um, I was there and um, 
there was this woman who comes there and um, she wasn't even that close and she starts howling right mm -hmm. and uh, then she goes to the grand the the grandmother and she's you know she's saying all these fake words of support and stuff like that and my first thought which is i don't know if it's a good thing or not my first thought was oh i should make a video on this you should no yes really yes like i feel like as a creator because you know you, no, you can't stop looking for content no matter what situation you're in do you know how to stop or when to stop no it's always that if you're a comic that's the way your brain's programmed that's a that's a i could already see the sketch and it could be very funny because then the person here we're going to work this out right now and then you're going to do it um <laughs> what you're going to be the person who does the fake crying okay right you should also make yourself the person who's being cried too so you can Oh get, yeah that's um, what we do all the time we don't have right. budgets for actors So anyway. it should be you fake crying about this person at the funeral and saying all these things about them and then the person who's being being said to is giving them this blank stare and it should be like their eyes have dried up because they're not crying anymore because they're like look what the hell are you talking about and then you're you're crying crying and saying all these things about this person that is completely untrue to this person then you realize you're in the wrong the funeral wrong home <laughs> oh that we can do see you're welcome thank you i i i remember being at at, at funerals and what was that story i i was that remember i said i can't start my brain off is at a funeral and i saw a sign what was the sign again oh yeah come yeah come again or something like that or <laughs> yeah something like that like something to that effect i was like really <laughs> at a funeral home yeah or our customers are the best you know something like that just like <laughs> it was something i was like huh <laughs> you've taken me out of this funeral now <laughs> i'm going to write all of these things down <laughs> and i'm going to cut it out of this video mm -hmm. i'll be like i wrote that it's going to be your your cheat sheet yeah my yeah. cheat sheet your cheat sheet. Cheat sheet. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Um, thank you so much. Thank you, Lalu. It was. <laughs> are you calling me Lalu? Where did that come from? I don't know. It's, I just like the way it sounds. Do I look like a Lalu? I don't know what a Lalu is supposed to look like. <laughs> a Lalu is like. I know. I was always called an Ulukapata by my mom. So. Oh, that's that's cute. Ulukapata is, is oh, cute. Good. Okay, good. And I, it's actually like a. Uh, it's like owl? a. Son of an owl, so it's for your father actually. Right. More Ooh. than it is for you. <laughs> this was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. And I am so glad I finally get to meet you. You too. YouTube. <laughs> you know, interesting fact, I was actually the first YouTube sensation. Oh. But I, and it wasn't a thing then. Like I was on YouTube when it started in 2005. Oh yeah, Susan was talking about that. I but, remember talking to Susan about it. I never, you know, again, it wasn't a thing until you guys came along and started creating content for you. you became Maybe because YouTubers. you didn't say like and subscribe. Yeah, like I didn't know anything about that. No. <laughs> that didn't, there was no way of monetizing it back then. Oh, okay. You know how rich I'd be today? <laughs> Damn, we missed it. <laughs> missed it by that much. I really don't know how to follow up to that, but um, hey, this Click has... Click the link and subscribe if you like this video. Yes. Ooh, ooh, we're going to play that on loop. By... We got that, right? The sound was yeah. okay? Perfect. Um, but this has by far been one of my favorite Tuesday videos. Thank you so I much. I enjoyed it too. It's so nice to meet you. You too. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. And this god that you brought with you. Which god does he look like again? Someone Greek. No, one of the Indian ones. Oh. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go now. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, you should do that because it's free. And I'll see you again. On it is free. Free is, is a good thing. 100%. I'll see you again on Thursday until we meet. Love, love. That's it. Thanks, guys. Thank you.